Uh, all right, um. All right, great, uh, what? Great environment, great college basketball game. I hated to see it end like that. I'll be honest with you. Um, you know, let the kids decide. Let the kids decide. So, um, as I was walking over here, coming to this room, I told myself, I'm glad I saw my family sitting there because I don't want to be fine and take some money out of there for dinner tomorrow night. But, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to be real careful here. But uh, I, I thought it was a great game. That's a really, really good basketball team. Um, but I think you also saw another really, really good basketball team. Um, I have been fighting for the respect of our program. And I told these guys, the only way you get the respect like we deserve is by winning those type of games. Um, but as I told them, something good will come out of that. Um, you know, we, we, we were down and fighting the entire game and was able to uh, get ourselves and, you know, and take the lead at that last second. So, um, you know, sometimes you get those, sometimes you don't. But uh, I, I can't be more proud of, of this basketball team. And, and, and trust me when I say this, I am not here to be the head coach at Tulane for moral victories. I do not believe in them. Our program's too good. There's no such thing for me as moral victories. Um, but I am proud of our kids and, and what they have to play today. And, uh, you know, we can't control calls. We can control how hard we play. And we, and, and we did that. That's all I can ask of this team. Well, I talked about how many times we've been here before. You know, I mean, this group of guys that I've had in the last couple of years, man, we, 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 we've been down before where we've had to come back, whether it was Cincinnati or whoever we had to play. We've been, we, we, we've been here and, and done that. But I also want to say this. Um, man, I remember when I first got here, and, and, and that crowd was special. And so, you know, we got to keep getting that, you know, that the crowd, we, we, you know, we got to make, you know, we're, we're really good in this building. And so the, the crowd helped us in that regard. But, I mean, I don't have to tell these guys a lot. They'll keep fighting. I, they don't, we don't look at the score. They'll just keep fighting. That's why I love coaching these guys. All we could on the possession. Ref blew the whistle. Um, so be it. We had chances to win it. Uh, we got to control. We control. Just stay composed. It was, I think 250 on the clock. It's a nine-point game, and a lot of teams could have folded. Um, we could have folded, but we're uh, a team has been there before, and a team who wants to win and uh, will win the conference. We'll play in the, the tournament. Like those are things that we talk about as a team. And championship teams come back and win those games, and we did all we could to be in that position. Mm -hmm. Funny, you just mentioned that this is another team that you saw. Yeah. That being you said, USI 15 as well. Yeah. It, with these moral victories, I know you don't want to take that, mm -hmm. but how close is this team to just We are. I mean, you know, we our, our last two games, we we played a team that was in a championship game, the NIT in North Texas, and we played a team that was in the Final Four just a couple months ago, and so um, and and we've added them to our league, and they're really really good teams, but. Uh, if you just walked in this building, you never know anything about the conference or anything. You, you, you said, boy, those are two really good basketball teams. I'm glad it was on national TV. But, um, you know, uh, we're, we're, we are close. Um, but, again, that, 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 that drives me crazy um, because, uh, you know, I got some seniors that, that, that have been through the wars and helping me build this program, and I want to reward them for something at the end. And we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, I just I can't tell you enough how much uh, these kids mean, man. They just – Hey. Kind of hurt, bro. <laughs> My bare skin, bro. <laughs> uh, slow start when they were yeah. keeping the lights out. Uh, after that, it was an Yeah. <laughs> the well, I was concerned because, you know, they, they, they had a tough loss at Charlotte. And generally, if you're really good teams, especially teams like that, you knew they were going to come out. And, and he changed the lineup up a little bit, went smaller, put more shooters in the lineup. Uh, I knew they would come out on fire because, again, you know, when, you, when you're, you know, like us, we felt like, we could, you know, you don't want to lose back-to-back -back games in that regards. And so, uh, um, but I think what, you know, again, what they're also realizing, this is a good league. This is a really, really good league. It's a well-coached league. And, um, 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 I think, unfortunately, what may end up happening, we may end up beating each, all of each other up in this, and in, 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 in maybe still some at large bids because, boy, there's a, there's a lot of good teams in this, in this league. You had a, a stretch, I think it was from eight minute mark over to six minutes where you didn't have field goals. So, yeah. so how do you kind of avoid those, yeah. those lulls and offensive? 
Well, one of the things we want to keep doing, you know, sometimes that, the, the, the ebbs and flows of a game that happen, um, but we can control our defense. And, what, you know, even early, uh, you know, we, we got like two or three stops in a row, then we got five out of six stops. And so if our defense can – because our offense is at some point is going to get going. And so uh, um, I thought, you know, the best thing we did today was just in transition when we got those stops, we were able to get some transition baskets. I thought that's what we were really good today. But, um, but again, I want, I, I want to make sure I give uh, Dusty and his crew credit because, again, they, they, they had to come into a hostile environment. And, uh, and so we'll, we'll get an opportunity in February to go down there and, 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 and try to steal one. I think having a veteran team um, is all about composure. I think that's really what it boils down to. Um, we've got a team full of guys who've been there before, and most importantly, a team full of guys who um, can keep the main thing the main thing. Um, we're playing for a conference championship. While that door is still open, we're going to continue fighting for that no matter what it looks like. Um, as long as that door is open, we still have a chance. Just like when there's 250, as long as there's still a chance, uh, we can make anything happen. Um, we, we, we'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, he kept us in in the second half. That was the kind of player that we always knew he was, that he's shown to be. Um, that's just one of his performances. Like, we, we talked this week. We knew it was coming. It was bound to happen eventually. Um, you can't hold the kid down forever. We'll be all right. Thank you. All right, th thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming.